Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a tutorial on this really glittery, bronzy, smoky eye with super healthy and glowy skin. Perfect for the holiday season. Just keep watching if you want to see how to get it and don't forget to subscribe. So, I'm using my foundation primer in the radiance kind of section for um, primer, obviously. It's by Laura Mercier and I am just rubbing this into my skin until it gets a little bit tacky so that my makeup lasts all day long and I'm also spraying a little bit of Smashbox photo finish primer water all over my face just to make sure that my makeup really lasts and this also just makes your skin look super glowy and radiant. I'm then going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is in the shade Soft Brown and I absolutely love this because you can get your eyebrows to look so even and so full so quickly. Um, it's a really, really good beginner's product. This is what I've been using ever since I really started doing makeup because I just find it to be so easy. And my eyebrows are never even. They're literally sisters, not twins. One's sometimes super square, one's super arched. So I love this product to even them out. And then I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Gel and I am just running through my eyebrows to make sure that they stick when I'm doing foundation, when I put on my eyeshadow. And right before I do my eyeshadow, I like to prime my eyes. I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, which is such a throwback. I haven't used this in so long. So I'm just covering up all my veins and then setting it with some powder. And then I'm going in with my Morphe 35N palette and it's an all matte palette and you guys just saw I pointed to that really light brown shade and I'm just running this through my crease and I just keep doing that this is my transition shade and then in that same palette I'm going all the way to the left and I believe it's the second row down and just taking another light brown honestly you guys don't have to get this exact palette whatever browns you have is perfect and works really really well for this look and then I'm going in with a more precise crease brush and taking that dark kind of, I don't know, kind of looks like creme brulee from Makeup Geek, but I'm just running this through my crease and this kind of changes the look. It gives us so much more warmth and definition and dimension to our eye and this is definitely a must. So you want to get a really good transition shade. As you see, I had some trial and errors, but I love this one. So then I'm going in with my Morphe 35W palette and I'm taking that shade you just saw and blending it in with the same brush. I'm then picking up a clean brush and just blending out the edges. Um, I just use a really light brown. I didn't show you, but it's really just any basic brown just to blend out the edges. And then I'm going in with this Sigma I'll have it linked down below. Oh no, it's right here. I found it. It's the Sigma E25 blending brush and I just used it on a really dark kind of plummy brown shade and I'm just blending that into the outer corners of my crease. This shade is amazing. This brush is amazing. This brush makes it really, really easy to blend and just pack on products because it's the perfect shape. And then I'm taking that same um, Sigma, what brush is this? Let me see. E35 blending brush and then I'm taking that Sigma E40, that huge one right there to blend it all out. Sorry, that was a little unorganized. I'm just, as you can see, I keep picking up products and just blending it out and just making sure everything is nice and even and then I'm going in with my Irma Decay setting spray and just a flat shader brush. This is just by BH Cosmetics, it doesn't have a name. But with my 35N palette, no, 35W palette, sorry, I'm going in with that really shimmery gold shade and just packing it on with that flat shader brush. And then I'm taking that Sigma E35 brush and blending it out. This is my favorite part. I'm using the Sigma glitter and I am just blending this all over my eyelid, basically not blending, kind of patting it. It's the Midsummer Loose Shimmer and it is perfect. It completely changed the look. It gives so much more dimension and just kind of oomph to your eyelid. I don't really know the right word, but it looks amazing and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just packing that on and then really precisely, you'll see I'm blending it out, but being super careful with just a fluffy blending brush. I don't wanna go super hard on it or anything like that. I'm being so, so careful. And then I'm just taking any clean brush and blending the, sh the shimmers under my eyes away. And then once again, I'm going in with that Sigma E25 brush and taking that dark plum shade again. Basically, I just keep repeating the steps. You can see what I'm doing. I'm then taking a pencil brush from MAC and I'm just taking that plum shade I kept putting on my E25 brush, the outer corner shade, and I'm dragging that on my lower lash line. And then after I am done doing that, I'm gonna take a little bit of, you'll see in a second, but not the Sigma loose shimmer, but I'm taking, see right here, I'm taking my Morphe 
um, shimmer from the 35W palette and I'm blending that down and then I'm taking my Sigma. So it's just kind of a repeat of what we have on our eyelid just so it evens out um, the top and bottom lash line. And then I'm also taking a little bit of Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop and just spraying this with some Fix Plus or whatever I use, Smashbox, I don't know, and just putting that on my inner corner and then I'm doing a tiny, tiny bit of mascara before I apply my false lashes. You will see I struggled a little bit with this, um, but I eventually got it. I got one on and then I tried to show you really quickly how I did my other, but as you'll be able to tell, no one's perfect. No one can get this right away. I struggle with it so much. Hopefully one day I'll be one of the YouTubers that can just like bam, put it on. You're like, how'd you do that? But as of right now, I'm a 17 year old attempting to put this on my lash line. Um, and then after I finally got that on, I just coat both my lashes with a little bit more mascara. By the way, I prefer using clear lash glue, just so you know. And then I'm using a damp beauty blender and taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm mixing the shades Nude and Natural Beige to get the perfect shade. And I am just blending this all over. This is definitely a more full coverage look. So I'm taking kind of a lot. I'm not using a super heavy hand with my beauty blender or my products, but I definitely use more than an everyday wear. And then I'm also going to go in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer and just highlight the crap out of my face. Um, I'm just going to take my damn beauty blender and blend, 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 blend. By the way, I don't know why I have a really big stain on my shirt. Only I would manage to stain a black shirt. I'm really annoying. It bothers me throughout the whole video. I'm sorry if I just called attention to it, but if you notice, deepest apologies. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna continue blending that in with my damp beauty blender. I think this kind of just gives a lot of life to your face. And then I'm setting it with my Ben Eye Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder and I'm just baking with my beauty blender so it all stays. And then I'm going in with my Clinique Chubby Stick, I think it's called, in Curvy Contour. And I am just putting this all over my face and then using a damp beauty blender to blend this out. I love this. It gives so much warmth and glow and dewiness to the skin. So I'm definitely a fan and it blends out really, really easily, especially if you use a damp beauty blender. And then just to kind of go over that, make it more intense, I'm using this Too Faced bronzer and I absolutely love this. This is the Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer and I'm just using this with a uh, Sigma Small Contour F05 brush, which just kind of gave more life to our face, which I really, really, really loved. And then, of course, I need a little bit more warmth and glow to my skin. But before that, I'm gonna wipe away my baking and just, I use this with any kind of tapered brush. This one's from Sigma, but whatever you have. And then, as I said, I need more glow. So I'm using Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I'm just kind of lightly blending this over my skin. Um, this may look like a lot, but at the end, it kind of just all works. And then I'm taking a little bit more spray and then highlighting. So I love highlighting. I'm using the Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. This is from Jaclyn Hill's face palette. But as you can see, I'm just putting it on all the high points of my face, my cheekbones, everywhere that I think I need a little bit of glow, which is essentially my whole face. And then um, a little bit on my lip because I love the look of it. You guys don't have to. You can do what you want, but that's basically what I'm doing. You can totally see. And then I am lining my lips with Kylie Jenner's Lip Liner or Kylie Cosmetics, whatever it's called, in the shade Exposed. And then I'm just filling that in. I think it's a really nice nude. I might have um, gone a little bit neuter if I could do this over. Maybe not so much color, but... I still really like the look of it. I use a Bite Lipstick, I think it's called, and I use that in the shade Cashew. And that's it! So thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the look. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.